you and my friend Claire sang a beautiful song up here, and I said, oh, I need to learn that song. Um, she told you about it at the time, but I suppose I'll tell you again. There's a superstition with beekeepers in the UK, but you have to tell the bees what's going on in the house, because otherwise they leave. Um, Claire liked this superstition and wrote a song about it. My father had his word from his father ten times over. He told me all he knew to have his pride. The flower plant and harvest him, the cutting of the clover, the shepherding, the tending of the hive. He said, You have to tell the bees of the birth or death or wedding. If you don't tell the bees, then they'll move on. And the land must have its feet for the pollen that was spreading. But who will tell the bees when I am gone? I married sweet Louise when the summertime was coming. And as the last few guests had gone away, I led her across the fields to where the gentle bees were humming. And we told the bees to bless our wedding day. In time there came three children to share our toil and pleasure. There's Andrew and then Sarah and then Jane. On the day that each was born to the fields we took our treasure. And the bees were first to know each baby's name. For you have to tell the bees of a birth or a dead or wedding. If you don't tell the bees, then they'll move on. And the land must have its seeds for the pollen that was spreading. But who will tell the bees when I am gone? But when the last was born, my Louise grew thin and weary, and her breathing grew more laboured with each dawn. On a chilly day out of some way, I crossed the fields so dreary, to tell the bees my sweet Louise was gone. For you had to tell the bees of a birth or death or wedding. If you don't tell the bees, then they'll move on. And the land must have its bees, for the pollen that once spreading. But who will tell the bees when I am gone? When Andrew came of age, he could not stand to tarry. He went and fled to farm a distant shore. It rained the day I told the bees, my son so bright and merry, will come to tend these muddy fields no more. Our Sarah took a lad and would soon become a mother. The land supplied once more a wedding feast. And Jane and I were left behind to plow and sow and gather, to tend the sodden fields and tell the bees, for you have to tell the bees of a birth or death or wedding. If you don't tell the bees, then they'll move on. And the land must cut its bees, for the pollen that once spreading. But who will tell the bees when I am gone? When I told the bees that Jane was drowned, I scarce could speak for sorrow. And sorrow soon will be the end of me. The men as well come to church to mourn my death tomorrow. But none of them will think to tell the bees. And you have to tell the bees of a birth or death or wedding. If you don't tell the bees, then they'll move on. And the land must have its bees, for the pollen that was spreading. But who will tell the bees?